Food Introduction In our country, an individual eats food three to four times a day. The food consumed at a particular time of the day constitute a meal. For example, food taken in the morning constitutes a meal called breakfast. Similarly, food taken in the afternoon is a part of lunch and those taken in the evening or night form the dinner. For school-going children, the following nutrients are important. Energy-giving nutrients, carbohydrates and fats, body-building nutrients, protein, protective nutrients, minerals like calcium and iron and vitamins. Variety of food habits. Different living things eat different food. Living things on the basis of food habits may be of the following types. Producers, herbivores, carnivores, omnivores. Producers are mostly plants. They are so called because they can prepare or provide their own food. All green plants which we see around us like a peepal tree, mango tree, sunflower plant and a pea plant are such plants. Animals like the cow, deer, sheep and elephant eat plants and are therefore herbivores. Some animals like the lion and tiger eat other animals. These are the carnivores. There is another category, the omnivores. These are living beings who eat both plants and animals like humans, crow, squirrels and cockroach. Parasites Parasites are small animals that depend on other living animals for their food. Mosquitoes live on blood that they suck from humans and other animals. They have a long, sharp pipe instead of teeth, which is used to pierce the skin and suck the blood. Fleas, leeches and bugs are also parasites. Some parasites, such as tapeworm, roundworm and hookworm, live inside the bodies of animals and eat the food after it has been digested by the animals. Food Chain a grasshopper eats a green plant. A frog eats the grasshopper. The frog is eaten by a snake. And the snake is eaten by an eagle. This chain of events is called a food chain. Who eats what in the environment makes up a food chain. The study of food chains shows us the interdependence of various organisms in the environment. In grassland, the following food chain operates. Grass, zebra, lion. A typical food chain in a pond is algae, small fish, large fish. Why do we need food? Food is required by the body for the following purposes. For energy required to perform various functions of body to sustain life. For growth. You have seen yourself growing. Without proper food, your growth would not be possible. For repair of damaged or injured body parts. When you get hurt, your skin is damaged and the blood is lost. Repair of such damaged parts takes place by the addition of new cells for protection from diseases and infection. Sources of food Plant food Cereals are the most important sources of food for man and animals. They are rich sources of carbohydrates. Three most important cereals are wheat, rice and maize. These cereals are obtained from grains Biologically, grains are fruits of the plant. Pulses or legumes, commonly called dals, are rich in proteins and are obtained from seeds of leguminous plants. Common pulses include pea, bean, groundnut, soya bean and gram. Vegetables are rich sources of vitamins, minerals and roughage. Water content is high 
70 to 90 percent, and their food value is low. Sources of food. The following list gives some common vegetables along with the part used. Sources of food. Fruits, like the vegetables, have high water content, low food value, but are rich in minerals and vitamins. In common usage, the term fruit is used for those which are usually taken without cooking. Common fruits are banana, mango, apple, grapes, pineapple, guava, orange, lychee, and so on. Sugars are produced by the green plants through photosynthetic activity. Chief sugar-producing plants are sugarcane and sugar beet. In case of sugarcane, the plant part used is the stem, while in sugar beet, it is the root. Tea and coffee are common beverages. Tea is obtained from leaves, while coffee is obtained from seeds. Sources of food. Spices have no food value and are used for adding flavor to food. Before the advent of refrigeration, spices were also used for preserving foods. The major spices produced are pepper, kali mirch, cardamom, elaichi, ginger, adrak, turmeric, haldi, and chilies, mirch. Other spices of importance are cloves, lung, saffron, kesar, fennel, sonf, cumin, jeera, coriander, dhania, asafoetida, hing, fenugreek, methi, nutmeg, jaipal, and thyme, ajwain. Oils. Major oil yielding plants are cotton, groundnut, mustard, coconut, soya bean, and sunflower. Animals as sources of food. Animals provide us food in the form of milk, meat, fish, eggs, and honey. Milk yielding animals are cow and buffalo. Meat yielding animals are sheep, goat, and pig. Meat of pig is called pork. Poultry animals are birds like hen, duck, and turkey. Poultry products are rich sources of proteins and have the right kind of fat for good health. Animals which provide meat and egg are called poultry animals. The egg has yellow, yolk, and white albumin proteins. Yolk is rich in fats and lipids, while the albumin is rich in proteins. The eggshell is made of calcium carbonate. Fish. Fish is a major source of food rich in animal proteins. Fish proteins have high digestibility and growth-promoting value. Also, cod and shark liver oils are rich in vitamin D. In India, fish are found both in fresh water, ponds, lakes and rivers and sea water. Fresh water fishes, Catla, Labiu, Serena, Barbus, Mistis, Clarius. Seawater fishes, hilsa, catfish, sardines, ribbon fish, red mulet, pomfret, bombay duck. Rearing and management of fish on a large scale is known as physiculture. Fish are eaten in forms either cooked and eaten or in dried form, pickled form and canned form. Steps to avoid wastage of food. Food that is produced should not be allowed to get spoiled or eaten away by animals like rats and squirrels. We eat only that much quantity of food which is required by our body. Excess eating will lead to obesity, growing fat. In parties or even in our homes, we do not leave food uneaten in our plates. Testing for Nutrients Testing for sugar. Glucose is a kind of sugar our body uses the most. Put some glucose into a test tube. Add a few drops of Benedict solution. Carefully heat the test tube in a water bath. The glucose will turn orange. Germination of seeds. Put some cotton in four dishes. Keep three to four bean seeds in each dish. 
Keep the dishes as follows. Dish A. Wet the cotton. Keep adding water if it dries. Keep in a kitchen. Dish B. Wet the cotton. Keep adding water if it dried. Keep in a refrigerator. Dish C. Do not wet the cotton. Keep in a warm place. Dish D. Put enough water to cover the seeds. Keep in a warm place. Which seeds start germinating? What do you think are the conditions necessary for germination? The seeds kept in dish D obtains all the three necessary factors of growth such as air, water and sunlight, vital for the growth of the seed into a seedling.